acted like a mother freaking cat, bitch. I came out like a mother freaking lion. Like. <laughs> Gang, it's your girl for you, Shasha, and I'm back with another video. Yeah! Period. If you're new here, what's good? What's popping? If you're a returning subscriber, what's good? What's popping to you too, sis? Okay, okay. Please do not forget to click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I put out a new video. And please do not forget to shop my brand at Shasha Fashion Paradise. We do have a new collection that's on my website right now. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. In today's video, I'm truly just speaking from my heart um just giving you guys an update i'm going to tell you guys everything that i was going through and each thing that like helped kind of, that helped combat it okay so if you are someone that's going um through financial issues a broken heart this year i felt so much emotionally and mentally i went into depth and um a soul tie this year was my first time ever feeling so lonely where to the point where i felt like desperate this year i realized i had no boundaries this year i was really stressed out a lot like when i say stressed out i mean stressed out about life like literally to the point where i would have like anxiety attacks just sitting there just stressing and crying and this year i needed to heal and i'm gonna show you guys how to combat when it comes to like depression and when it comes to having like anxiety attacks because for me i honestly didn't know what was wrong with me <laughs> i felt like this it, it was going on for a long time and it's still low-key going on i still have my you know sad days and stuff like that but now i'm learning how to like combat it and mother freaking push through this is something that everybody goes through and this is a part of life that you gotta like this is like it's like war for me i feel like every day with me going through that depressed um stage it was like war it was super hard for me to get up out of bed it was super hard for me to just face the day i would cry every day and it would just be different things different triggers um for me as a person and it's like girl what were you depressed about hey y'all want to know my business let me let me tell y'all my business with going through full-time entrepreneurship child what taught me about it is that i had a spending problem like i understand that money is one of the re reasons why we get into like these little depression moments most most of the time would be because either we're not where we are where, where we want to be in life or you want to get where you want to be at, but you just don't have the funds and stuff like that. And for me, I was one of those people, like, it was, I went into credit card debt. And when I tell y'all how I got out of it, one way in order to fix, like, some of your problems is to fix yourself. I, I started realizing these things as I got closer to God. I had probably over 15K. And my bank account the rest of the money that i would work I, I i was like okay i'm just leaving that in my account and everything else if, as long as my account is this pay um stage i'm good i'm just gonna keep you know spending so that i felt like i was at a decent amount so every single paycheck i got i just kept spending that ish like i kept spending i didn't really have like a budget i was just like okay this is you know that's it but like when I did full-time entrepreneurship, I went from like 15K to like 1K, under 1K. What? And some was from done stuff, but a lot of them was from just me not budgeting correctly. So I feel like this year, God was making me go through this trial where my business page got shut down and I had to really try to hustle to learn how to budget so i was doing like uber i was doing a whole bunch of different jobs and stuff like that and it was only a little bit of money when i say only only a little bit like a hundred less than a hundred in that and with that i learned how to budget and now this is my rule on how i budget this is how what i live up to because i was a girl that i'm like yo like i don't want to risk my whole life just saving 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 for what with this budget plan i learned that 
I can still have fun. I can still have a lot of money saved. I can still put, you know, money towards in my investment and stuff like that. And I learned, I got this learning from Transformation Church. And they had this, um, this little rule thing. And what his rule was, well, what some of his rule was, first you have to save at least a thousand. So I started doing that. Then you start removing all debt. Y'all, when I said, when I went into, when I tell you I went into depth, I went into t the, to depth. And it wasn't no, nothing, you know, bad, but like it really takes a level of discipline. And when I tell you guys the best versions of you come out when um, you're most disciplined, all you gotta do is just stick, stick t to the rule. Like, so she, I had to clear out all my debt and then I have to save like three to six months. Those were just some of the steps that it took. So now I'm here to tell y'all that I am debt free and I'm just so happy and grateful for that. Like a lot of who you are right now, like who you are right now comes from the habits or, or the repetitions cycle that you go through. If you are going through this spinning habit disease, it's, it's almost like it's a cycle. This is gonna solve almost all your issues, okay? This is super, super important. So make sure you guys listen up. Fasting, seeking, and tithing. Those were the three things that helped me get out of debt. I told God, I really want to be able, and I'm not, I'm not gonna push my religion on anybody, but I'm telling you what works for me and what could really work for you. You put God in your life. I'm just gonna say that. But anyways, I started fasting. And what I fasted was for more self-control. Um, I fasted off of social media for a little bit. I fasted off of certain foods so I could just really like learn. And when I tell you, God sees it through. From day one, I from the first day I started fasting, God blessed me with like a thousand dollars. When I tell you, when you put all your trust into God, like he would really lead the way. I had got a thousand dollars from what? What I was doing from unemployment. I haven't solved from unemployment in for like in a year. And then out of nowhere, I got unemployment money in my bank account. I'm like, okay, like this fasting thing really works. But like when you fast for something that you want to gain, like I feel like God it is showing to God that you are serious about what you want and he's gonna bless you along the way. So as I was fasting, different blessings were coming my way and I was seeking God a little bit more. I was reading some of the Bible and I started tithing. Even when I didn't have money, I started giving money to just different people. And I felt like God, since God was seeing that, he was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna bless you with this opportunity, this opportunity, this opportunity. So in the midst of, you know, fasting, seeking, tithing, God gave me this wonderful job opportunity. So I am I went through, after I graduated college, I went through another transition and I got a job. And this job, I love it. I love it, it's real cool. I'm not gonna tell y'all where I work, but just know I'm in the field where I wanna be at. Like, I always wanted to be a teacher and I am a teacher for high schoolers. Um, so, and I always wanted to teach something with life skills, but something that I'm going through, just like how I'm talking to y'all. I never liked real math. I never liked reading. I never liked science. I never liked regular subjects because I'm not like passionate about it. But what I like, what I can talk about are like things that I went through. So I'm basically, long story short, I'm a prevention specialist and I just go to different schools and I talk about how to manage time, money, um, relationship like building relationship effective communication um setting goals things like that and these are all things that i practice and that's one of the things that i really love about this job because it's something that i'm practicing and this job is not micromanaged so i could be able i just got it's task oriented so i just gotta complete my task within a certain amount of time and then that's it i got free time because i already complete my task but anyways, I'm so grateful for this job. That's something that helped me clearing out my debt because this job gave me a, <laughs> a whole bunch of money and I was really disciplined when it came to the skills thing I'm showing you guys. So please, fast, seek, and tithe. Now, emotionally, 
getting out of your negative ways it all comes from your subconscious mind um, I'm, I'm not going to spend too much time on subconscious mind, but basically it's just things that you're used to, that you're programmed to. For example, if your parent used to always quit um, their job, they just leave from job to job, um, go from job to job, you most likely are going to kind of like do the same because you've seen your parent do it all the time. So it's like a lot of things that like you do, you can't fully finish doing if you get what I'm saying. But anyways, it just comes from your subconscious mind. And replacing negative thoughts with good thoughts, realizing where you are right now. We will go ahead and beat ourselves all day, every day. But when you start taking, when I took a picture and I started looking at my little gratitude wall, I, I would be like, let me say it, I am strong and resilient. I am confident. God will make my name famous as I pursue his purpose. I am, I have a brilliant mind. Um, my best days are yet to come. That's one of my favorite ones. I am healthy. I am wealthy. Everything will always work out for me. I attract great greatness. If you are here right now, alive, that just means God's not done with you. All right? The devil will put these negative thoughts so you could feel insecure and little about yourself to the point where some people just, you know, kill themselves. And... You don't want to get to yeah point. You thought he was done with you? You thought he was done with you? <laughs> Changing your space really helped. As you can see, I have like a little gratitude wall. Now, I take a picture of it. Whenever I'm feeling like down, it is mostly because I'm thinking like something triggered me. Like for example, a no caller ID call. A no call of my decal might pop up when I'm going through like my little healing process and it, it just brings me back into that ugh like damn why is this so like I'm trying to do my best and then something negative pop up like it just reassured my confidence back that's why I really say it's really important to start loving yourself like a lot of the things that helped me was having gratitude and realizing what I'm grateful for right now like while I wake up and I always say, I'm God, I'm so happy and grateful. I'm so happy and grateful for my car. I'm so happy and grateful, even though my parents might piss me off, but they're still alive. I don't know what I'll do if, if they're not alive. I'm so happy and grateful that I have my own room. Um, just for the little things, when you keep saying those positive things of what you're grateful for right now, it honestly like diminishes what you going through because there are so many people that is going through way worse and i ain't gonna lie <sighs> whenever i think about people going through way worse yeah it saddens me but it really helps me realize that like damn like i have a car i still have money even though it may not be a lot of money um it's money like a lot of people would get happy for the little like little stuff and that honestly makes changes your mind on like certain things and it made me realize that money doesn't only make me happy like it's not the only thing that's gonna make you happy why do you think there's so many people that have like so much money and then they just kill themselves now when it comes to loneliness and i know this is something that a lot of people struggle with too and um this is something that i definitely struggle with this year i felt alone like I, would, I had friends, you know, all my friends, I had family, but I all I still felt alone. I don't know why did I feel so alone. This is for the lover girls out there. <laughs> when it comes to like the lonely phase and when it comes to like, like the healing process, I had to go through like a shift of mindset and realize that I gotta just go through it. This is something that I have to endure. I have to, you can't run from it because a lot of people, they might use drugs, alcohol, all of that to like numb the pain. But honestly, you really got to experience that hurt. You got to be like, wow, he left me for another girl. And for being that hurt for just a little bit, like cry it out and talk to other people about it. Like, it's okay. It's honestly okay. That's the whole point. You got to understand that you have to feel it. And you have to understand that this is a process that you have to go through. You needed that breakup in order to level up. When it comes to a breakup, you really got to understand that 
you can't change what happened. You can only change what how you respond. You cannot change what happened. Yes, you gave girl, I know you gave him your heart, your mind, your body, your soul, your your throat, bitch. <laughs> but you got you gotta understand that you was a good girl. I know you was a good girl to him. And I God knows that you you did him right. But you can't change what happened. Just change the way that you respond to what happened. Perseverance is a must when it comes to um like the healing process so just do things that you don't feel like doing like you don't want to go to the gym try to push yourself to go to the gym be like i'm gonna stunt on this nigga find like a hobby that you you're not used to like for me i started cooking girl i don't cook but i started cooking and i'm and then like you know just find different hobbies as women we gotta find hobbies it, we can't just let things be about a man a man a man a man a man and when i tell you from my experience, healing from the world, it don't work. It don't really work. It would work for like like a temporary amount of time. Like you'll forget about that person for a little bit. But then next you know you go to the club and they playing one of y'all songs or something and you a little drunk. Next thing you know, you drunk and you mother freaking thinking about that person again. And it's like, mm, should I call him and be like, hello? Okay, wait. The disrespect. Anyways, it's only for temporary, like I was saying. It will never allow you to fully, fully heal. You know, next thing you know, you drunk and you calling him and you're like either cursing him out or just be like, or depending what type of drunk you are, you're either cursing him out or you're being like, I can't believe you just hurt your bitch like me. Y'all did nothing but good. You don't want to be that girl. You don't want to be that girl. So I'm telling you, healing from the world is not like the best thing to do. It will never allow you to fully heal. So worship is something that would really help you heal. Worship is a key to the healing process because it takes all of the focus of your situation, putting it on to God and let like it lifts. Like it's like I just noticed whenever I went into worship, I just feel like ten times better. Like. Okay, guys. I'm I'm done. I I came in like a mother freaking catfish. I came out like a mother freaking lion. Like I feel like getting over a breakup is one of like the hardest things to do. It is so painful. It is so slow. But this is a process that is not just gonna be quick and done. Like so, life is just full of tests. Okay tests are just to test you god put you through these tests to test your character and your response and you know who you are as a person you feel me i all of these things all of these tests that you are going through these are things that you have to go through in order to like push because most of the time most people that go through hardships and stuff like that and a lot of them they don't even make it out they end up just they ended up just killing themselves and it, it stops them from their their purpose and that's what the devil tries to do make you have all these negative thoughts negative thinking and that's why you have to you know change your mindset stop doing, change your environment and changing your aura that's something that's gonna help you so for me one thing that helped me i changed my number i changed my number yeah, girl, I changed my number and I'm really happy that I'm about to freaking change my mother freaking number because I had I had to stop like using stuff that triggered me, you know, so um, I changed my number and what else did I do? I started like putting all the weight on to God, like I started expressing myself more and i stress that by going to therapy now i know you guys love your homegirls and i know you guys love your family but going to therapy really helped me because a stranger will tell you i'd rather you do it to a stranger it came to a point where i tried everything i tried going to god and i'm not saying god don't help god helps but that's why he created therapists too so they could also help a physical person could help you and when i went to therapy it was real cool having a crying session 
it helped me a lot. It was like therapeutic. So it, it just feel, it feels, it feels good and it helps you feel less alone. You know, you actually have a person that you know can talk to. Another thing that I learned is that I kept comparing myself and like to stop comparing yourself. A lot of the reason why we get depressed too is because we feel like we're not where we want to be in life and stuff like that. And that just comes with comparing yourself. That's why I say you make sure you go through a fast <laughs> and with fasting i highly 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 recommend you guys try like meditating eating clean eating clean like fast from don't only just fast for like a certain amount of time just fast from certain foods so what i started doing was i started fasting from burger king girl when i say i eat bad i eat bad i used to eat pizza burger king all that every single day but when i started eating cleaner it can change your mood, you know? So I would go and get me a chicken salad and drink some water and I will feel like more up. Put all of them in a fast and you'll be good, okay? Understand that you have to take things day by day. What else change? Oh, um, my room is changing. So you guys gonna see me inside my room a lot more because since I'm debt free now, <laughs> I can buy whatever I want, I lied. But yeah, anyways y'all, that's my little life update. I know it might be all over the place, but I do wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Let's get this to 400 subs um, by the end of this year. And yeah, thank you guys so much. I love you guys. See y'all in the next video.